The high brown fertility can be found in two main habitats, bracken dominated landscapes and woodland clearings with limestone outcrops. These habitats provide a warm microhabitat which is crucial for the development of the eggs and larvae. These conditions are not only good for the larvae but also the common dog violet, the food plant of the larvae. Management therefore concentrates on promoting ideal levels of bracken litter, violets, grass and bare ground. The objective of habitat management should be to create woodland clearings, hence why areas of woodland surrounded by bracken or limestone should be chosen to promote and maintain high brown fertility populations. Once an area of woodland has been identified, management can begin. The removal of trees is undertaken in order to open up the canopy and create ideal conditions for the high brown. Chainsaws are used to cut down large trees, while small ones can be cut with a brush cutter or even hand saws. When trees are cut, they are coppiced, which means they are cut close to the base of the trunk. This will not kill the tree, but instead allow it to form a number of small shoots, which will go on to grow as normal. Trees are not the only vegetation that needs to be cleared. Brambles, gorse, and other similar plant species must also be removed, as these can shade out the violets. These are removed using brush cutters and hand saws. Like trees, these plants can grow back, so they must be managed on a rotational basis. Once the target management area has been cleared, the excess scrub must be removed. Leaving cut trees and other vegetation lying where it was cut will cause as much shading as when it was all standing. The excess scrub can be burned in a bonfire to turn it from large pieces of vegetation into a pile of ash within a few hours. Bonfires, however, must be managed and kept under control at all times to prevent the surrounding area from going up in flames. Logs produced from cutting large trees can be piled and left under surrounding trees to provide habitats for invertebrates, small mammals and fungi. After management has been carried out, the results must be inspected to ensure it has been successful. Vegetation assessments can be carried out using quadrats. This method aims to identify the percentage cover of violets to see if they meet the requirements for prime high brown fertility habitat, with a coverage of 10 to 25% being the optimal levels. Ideal high brown fertility habitat in Wales sees bracken spread amongst woodland clearings. Transects can be undertaken to identify adults on the wing. Transects are set paths that are walked as many times as possible with the aim to identify all the high brown fertilities encountered. Identifying the high brown fertility in the field can be difficult as they look similar to other fertility species. If the management has been successful then the high brown fertilities will utilize this newly created area. Providing perfect breeding habitat allows the high brown fertilities to breed and lay eggs which will overwinter from the end of summer to spring. When they hatch, the larvae will feed and develop into adults and the life cycle will continue.